The setting is historic De La Salle High School in Concord, California, rich in football tradition. Tonight, they will host the number one ranked team in the country. It's high school football. Next. Noah Botsford will kick off for St. Thomas Aquinas. They won the toss. They have deferred in De La Salle with James Colby and Shamar Garrett back to return to start this game. And already a flag as the kickoff goes out of bounds and the Spartans will have excellent starting field position to get things going tonight. Season as the handman 20th overall here at the school after the five yard penalty. And again, look at it, Shamar Garrett with running room, one man to beat. Garrett down the sideline and trip up right before the goal line. And just know, just because they're a lot bigger and, and look more physical than De La Salle, this De La Salle team is ready for this challenge tonight. You got Kobe and Torres in the backfield and De La Salle, wow. James Kobe, welcome to Concord, California, number one ranked team in the land. Second down play fake, and he'll get it out to Jaden Henry. Good positive play here, getting inside the De La Salle 40-yard line. And it's Henry, he's got the first down and more. He powers his way inside the 30 before being taken down by Shamar Garrett, who also plays on defense for De La Salle, but it's a first and 10 now for St. Thomas Aquinas. Again, Bruton and Henry in the backfield. Turner keeps, and Turner, what a run into the end zone, and he's got it for the touchdown. Zion Turner, the sophomore quarterback in his first career start. And it's Garrett again, off the right side this time, another haul, first and more. Look at his moves into St. Thomas Aquinas territory to the 40-yard line. As the most NFL players in the NFL right now, and if they don't, someone will tweet us and tell us different. Deep pass, and there's Roseby. Makes the one-handed grab. Wards off the defender and gets the touchdown. Marcus Roseby, the verbal commit to Georgia. Second down give to Jaden Henry. Breaks free and a first down. Look at him roll over tacklers. And still at his feet inside of the 40 to the 35. 21 yard pickup. What power from him. Yeah, not a great home field advantage, at least for them on their sideline. There's a nice pass to the end zone caught by Theandris Freeman for the touchdown. And the senior hauls it in. And another great throw by Turner. 20 to 7, St. Thomas Aquinas. For the, the great streak started, we know all about that, the 151 in a row, but you played right up until that point, and everyone that we talked to here is Garrett has another nice run in the St. Thomas Aquinas territory. Yeah, living out on the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, yeah. what, what are some of the things you said to Imani? First off, let's see James Kobe as he runs the distance for a touchdown. All and right. De La Salle right back in at a 43-yard run for the score. Uh, we got to give a cre credit to Amani Toomer. Amani, you're probably going to have to stay on the phone because they have been playing well since you've been on the field. Thing to do, but during the football season, we grab our lunch and we go into the, the gym and uh, wait until we start watching football. And that's kind of how, and that's the kind of thing that sacrifice and you Brady, right? Pick yeah. 199, sixth round. We know the story. I mean, he's a sixth round pick as well. And you know what he's done here as of late. Good running skills here from Anthony Hankerson for St. Thomas Aquinas. Another first down run. It's a gain of 14. His ability when he runs the ball. Swung out pass to Grant Daly. Makes it a better miss. Daly! It's a St. Thomas Aquinas territory, 35-yard line. What a run. It took Derek Lingo to finally bring him down. Work with those guys, so be sure to be looking out for the Chippewas. We're going to fire up all year. <laughs> bad snap here for De La Salle, and this could be bad business, and it is. St. Thomas Aquinas comes up with a fumble recovery. Anthony Hankerson was in there. 22 for the Raiders able to come up with it. Garrett 
not going anywhere on that run right there. And that's the big number 99, Tyreek Sapp. 6'3", 260, four-star in the ESPN Junior 300. Four receivers, Hale, uh-oh, Wingo, look out. Derek Wingo making his presence felt untouched, sacking Hale for a seven-yard loss. Four receivers set on a first down and 10. Fresh set of downs. Hale. And not going to be able to get away from pressure. And that's Dante Lunin. First time we called his name here tonight. But a three-star guy from St. Thomas Aquinas with offers from Kentucky and Syracuse. Fourth and four to keep the drive alive just outside the 30. Hale guns it. And it's dropped incomplete. Oh, is it intercepted? Did it hit the turf? Taking it the other way. And it's Colby Dempsey. Dempsey still on his feet. And he's inside of the 30 yard line. Let's go back and look at that one again. It's gonna be Noah Botsford and it's gonna be a 38 yard attempt. Low snap, they get the hold down and the kick is on the way and it is good. What a kick from Noah Botsford, the junior. And that now is gonna make it difficult. 24 to 14. 14 penalties tonight, 66 total yards. Hale steps up and gets away, and he's not going to get much. Tyreek Sapp was there to make the tackle. Jason Taylor's coaching on the sideline for Dallas, or for St. Thomas Aquinas. It's be a star-studded evening here from Concord, California. And that's going to be good enough for the first down run here. And the ball comes out. Let's see, does De La Salle have it? They do, they recover the ball, fumble, and it's recovered by Tanner Doherty. Wow. Hale, and what a one-handed catch made for the first down by Lou Hearns, how about that? Clock though, they have to go under 40 seconds. Hale takes a deep shot, and this one is gonna be picked off. Or is it a catch? No, it's the other way. Intercepted. And they're going to say Colby Dempsey had it for St. Thomas Aquinas with those 27 seconds to go. Along with Wes Crow, Scott Ellison, and many more of our ESPN crew. Great job tonight, guys. And a lot of fun. Brian Corey, my brother, our spotter, Mike Tuberosa on stats. And this is a fun one here tonight, Randy. Not a bad uh, game here between these two teams. Great start to our season. Two great teams. One of those ones, unfortunately, someone's got to come up on the losing end. Give St. Thomas Aquinas credit. Come across the country to a hostile facility on a very good De La Salle team, and you get out of here with the win.